Nashville faith leaders called a fix to the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program a moral issue during a The Tennessean panel. Video by Michael Schwab slash USA Today Network, Tennessee. Pastor Nathan Parker of Woodmont Baptist Church, Pastor Dan Scott of Christ Church Nashville and Rabbi Flip Rice of Congregation Micah participate in a public discussion of faith and the dreamers on Thursday, December 14, 2017 at Trevecca Nazarene University's Benson Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. The panel was hosted by the Tennessean and Religion and Faith reporter Holly Meyer, photo, Jason Gonzalez slash the Tennessean, by photo. A trio of Nashville faith leaders called a permanent fix for young people brought to the United States illegally as a moral issue, not a political one. The Anglican, Jewish and Evangelical clergy leaders spoke on the issue as part of a panel hosted at Trevecca Nazarene University. The panel, moderated by the Tennessean, focused on the recent announcement by the President Donald Trump administration to end a program that afforded temporary legal status for those youth. There is a moral imperative that transcends right or left, said Anglican Bishop Dan Scott of Christ Church Nashville. He later added, it is immoral to assign culpability to a child that was accompanying their parents and, through no fault of their own, has been raised in a culture and society that they are a part of besides a piece of paper. More, faith leaders call upon Congress to protect DACA youth. More, Nashville DACA recipients, all we want for Christmas is a clean dream act. More, our fight is not over, DACA recipients urge Congress to intervene during Nashville rally. The protections rescinded under the Trump administration are known as DACA. It's a program created by President Barack Obama in 2012 through an executive order that provides temporary legal status for young immigrants who entered into the United States illegally. In September, U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced the Trump administration would end the program. The administration tasked Congress with a fix, which is being debated. The three faith leaders said a fix is an economic issue. Many of the about 800,000 DACA recipients in the United States are going to college or have careers, they said. But a fix also follows along the tenets of religious teachings, the three said. Rabbi Flip Rice said the story of the DACA youth is one that has parallels to religious history, given the persecution of religious and Jewish immigrants. The Jewish story is the story of the immigrant, Rice said. We resonate to the issue, on a theological and intellectual level. We don't always resonate on a personal level. But our community knows our narrative and they are very supportive. In Tennessee, there are about 8,300 DACA recipients. Pastor Nathan Parker of Woodmont Baptist Church said those youth have stepped forward by being a part of the DACA program. They are doing the right thing and that should be rewarded morally, Parker said. The three also said there is a family values aspect to passing a fix for young immigrants. Families shouldn't be torn apart if there is a fix, Parker said.